we we just did our our hangout our cord cutting hangout for everybody that came that was awesome we had a great time we're going to be doing a i think a mesh wi-fi one is coming up next we'll we'll schedule that and and put it out but uh we did it uh, last saturday and it worked out really well um what didn't work out was we sent out an email ahead of time, of course, telling everybody that we were doing this and telling you you could join the Discord and get the Zoom link there or just subscribe to the Mac Geek Gab calendar. And then lots of you, as has happened over the years, uh, told us that the Mac Geek Gab calendar gave you an error. What we used to do with the calendar up until a couple of days ago was if you went to macgeekgab.com slash calendar, it would redirect to a shared iCloud calendar. Apple's like whole, like the, the URL that Apple tells you to use when you want to share a calendar publicly with people. Totally not doing anything that you're not supposed to do, working the way it's supposed to work. Except it didn't. <clears throat> so I was frustrated about this. Some people could get the calendar. Other people would just get like an error. It wouldn't, like the server would just decline the request. It's like, what the heck's going on? See, and I so, thought it was me. Right. It no, wasn't. it's, it's not you. So um, what we have done is I thought, okay, this is, this is untenable. This is insanity. We need to control this widget, but I don't want to stop using iCloud calendar because we like the way it works internally for us. We just want to be able to share it, which Apple says we can do anyway. So I put Lucas on the job. Uh, in the midst of doing this job, Lucas took the Mac Geek Hub website offline for a little bit on Monday accidentally, but you know, these things happen. Move fast, break things. <laughs> Uh, but what he, he did is wrote a script to that now pulls Apple's calendar URL once every 15 minutes. And when it gets success, it saves it to our website. So we are caching Apple's calendar. And I feel like our server, this is a weird phrase that I'm about to utter. Our server is more reliable than Apple's. That doesn't make any sense to me that I'm saying those words, but empirically i have proven it uh as have you you've all experienced it so if you are if you have been subscribed to the calendar before let's say actually it was about a week ago so uh it, it's worth unsubscribing and resubscribing because it it does redirect to a different url now if you if you subscribe previously what would have happened is you would go tell it macgeekup.com slash calendar it then redirected you to Apple server and your calendar app would remember the Apple server uh, address. That is still the correct address. It just doesn't answer all the time. You can still use it if you want. It's not going to be wrong. It just might not be fun to use. So uh, resubscribe, just visit macgeekup.com slash calendar. That'll redirect you to our uh, cache of it, which is what your calendar software will remember. And then you're good to go. Here's the fascinating thing, guys. Now that we have a script running to do this, we decided to have it spit out a log uh, every time it successfully gets the calendar. Because I wanted to know, like, how often is it error? Like, how much, what do we need to do here to get this to work? The calendar starts answering at 6.55 p.m. Eastern time every day. It stops answering somewhere between 8 and 9 a.m. Eastern time every day. Between those hours, it answers flawlessly. I, 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 I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. And I've never seen it fail in the evening hours, and I've never seen it succeed in the daytime hours. So it's not like there's some overload that you might get through or whatever. It never gets through during the the daylight hours and it always gets through during the nightlight hours so i i this is like but macgeekup.com slash calendar folks that's where you're gonna go subscribe and then you'll know when we're doing the live shows and you will know when uh our live hangouts are and all of that good stuff